let's assume you work as a city planner and are interested in monitoring the condition of pedestrian crossings. So you want to find out if a pedestrian crossing needs some renovation. So in this application we might use as data points as a data point some pedestrian crossing. And we can characterize the pedestrian crossing using an aerial photo. So a picture that has been taken of the pedestrian crossing uh, using a plane for example. And we might use a low resolution image like 50 by 50 pixels. So we could stack the redness, greenness and blueness of each pixel into a feature vector x. So the feature vector contains the redness of pixel 1, the greenness of pixel 1, the blueness of pixel 1, and then red, green, blueness of pixel 2, up to the red, green, and blue component of the last pixel. So if we have 50 by 50 pixels, this means we have total 2500 pixels. And the whole feature vector is then a real valued vector of length 7500. The quantity of interest or the label of the data point y could be the numeric value representing the quality of the road marking corresponding to this pedestrian crossing. So we might set this label to a large positive number if the road marking is in excellent shape and we might set this value to a large negative number if the road marking is in very poor shape. And machine learning methods allow us to learn uh, or find a good hypothesis or predictor map which I denote H by H and this predictor map takes the feature vector of the pedestrian crossing as input and outputs a guess or a predicted label that tells us the estimated quality of the road marking. So the key problem or one of the key problems studied in machine learning is to find a map or predictor or hypothesis map such that the predicted label y hat is as close as possible or a good approximation of the true label of each or any data point we come along. So formally we can use any any map that maps the set of all feature vectors which is the set of real valued vectors of length 7500 to a, a real number which is the predicted label. So we input a feature vector of a data point and get as output a predicted label. However, for computational reasons we have to restrict the set of maps that we consider because this set or space of all real valued mappings from feature vectors of length 7500 to a real number, this set is simply too large, way too large. We cannot handle this in finite, with finite resources, finite computational resources, finite time or finite amount of memory. Therefore we need to restrict our machine learning method 
to a subset which we denote by calligraphic H. So this is a subset of the set of all possible mappings from feature vectors to predicted label. And this subset is denoted or referred to as a hypothesis space in machine learning literature. And we choose this hypothesis space such that it's sufficiently small to fit the resources or to uh, to be able to be implemented use, uh, the, using the available resources. However, we might we must also ensure that this is sufficiently large, this hypothesis space, such that we can find uh, a good hypothesis, such that we can find or there is a hypothesis in this hypothesis space such that the predicted label is a good approximation of the true label. And we will now discuss a few examples uh, for how to construct a hypothesis space. This include uh, linear predictor functions or linear predictor maps, which is maybe the most basic and most widely used example for hypothesis space. Another example for hypothesis spaces are decision trees. So a decision tree is a particular choice for the hypothesis space. Another example are artificial neural networks, which is underlying deep learning methods. And these artificial neural networks are a particular choice for this hypothesis space. So it's in particular, the hypothesis space obtained by representing functions by neural networks, which will be discussed in a second.